Today on this video, I thought I would take an uh, integrated circuit that I don't think I used before today. That's the LM339 right here. I got it in a kit, and uh, so it's probably commonly available in a lot of kits. Figured I would go over it. So it's quad comparators. There's four comparators on here. It has an interesting uh, pin layout. The inputs are down at the uh, bottom right there. So all it does is it looks at which input has a higher voltage than the other one. When the uh, plus input, the non-inverting input is higher, then the output is high, which is actually just off in this integrated circuit because it's an open collector output. We'll talk about that uh, later on. But now if the uh, plus, the non-inverting input is uh, lower than the inverting input, the minus, then the output is low and it actually connects to ground internally. Uh, through a transistor when it is low. So that's what we got here. All these LEDs have resistors coming from the positive supply. I set half of the supply voltage to all of the inverting inputs, all those uh, connections there. So you notice here for uh, number one, number two, the inverting input is above the non-inverting input for both those. You come over here, three, you have the non-inverting input above the inverting input for three and four. And then uh, the middle comparator right there up the uh, integrated circuit happens to go to the lower output right there. And then the uh, lowest, or the lower I should say, comparator goes all the way up to the uh, top output on uh, both sides. So in any case, we got uh, number one right here. Hopefully that makes sense. Our uh, voltage divider, 10K resistor to the positive supply, 10K resistor to the negative supply. And uh, that's going to the inverting input, inverting input down there with the jumper, inverting input up there, and then uh, down there, inverting. And then all the non-invertings, I have these uh, jumper wires right there. We will start with uh, number one down here. So that's uh, blue. And uh, when I move it now, it's not actually on. It's got straight signals. It's turning on and off uh, rapidly. We give it a full voltage and uh, negative voltage, I should say. Negative supply, zero volts. And now you can see it is on. So uh, right above it is comparator number two. And uh, so that's the slightly lower output, but it has a jumper going up to that blue LED right there. So we could wire up uh, really easily so that these uh, line up uh, more or less, but uh, this is just a demonstration circuit. I'm not trying to make it look as cool as I can, just as uh, practical. So now we'll come over, uh, let's do number three. So uh, we did one two, now we go back down three over here. So that is yellow and a three is the uh, top output. And so I just wired an LED right next to it and uh, right there. So now it's connecting the ground, the blue LED is lighting up. It's going through the resistor and LED. And then we have our last output. We are gonna, now, now it's just floating. It's not actually on right now. The output's not actually low. It's bouncing back and forth between low and high due to straight signals until I plug it in to the uh, negative supply there. Now we have a lower voltage at the uh, input than our signal voltage, which is going to all of them, our reference voltage. And uh, all the LEDs are on. So now of course, always remember to power it. It may not always show it on the schematic. I did not add it because it's already got enough going on right there. So third pin down to the right is the uh, ground pin. You can see that going to the uh, negative supply right there, third pin. And then uh, third pin down on the left side to the uh, positive side right there. Uh, going to positive. We have the output, as I said, it's open collector. So it's either off, so it's just, you know, a wire sitting there, not connected to anything, or the transistor turns on, which is when the output is low. Then you have a connection to ground. That's why it's low right there. So we're gonna light the LEDs through that path there. If we need a positive voltage at the output, you need a pull-up resistor. You have a resistor to the positive supply, so you always have a limited amount of current that you can provide. Usually it's for signals to something that needs a high voltage, uh, the supply voltage maybe, or a low voltage uh, ground right there. And now we're going to look at the schematic diagram that I put together. I didn't base it on anything other than vague memories of similar circuits. Um, just I wanted to... Uh, it so we could demonstrate what's going on with the integrated circuit. Always power the integrated circuit. I'm going to mention it again because I did not draw it on the schematic. That's why I'm going to mention it so much on here. And uh, these lines, um, I probably could have uh, shrunk that in, um, but up there is just wide anyways. 
we have a bunch of lines here. Let's look at this one first right here. So we have a 10K resistor there and then a 10K resistor down here. So this is all one connection where it bumps out there and then where it goes to the uh, uh, down here, negative symbol right there. Wherever it bumps out like that, that's not a connection. So this is one way to show uh, connected. All those three are connected. Whereas this jumps over. That's all just a one uh, connection there and that's a separate one right there. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is um, you'll have just lines cross each other where they're not connected and then there'll be a dot where they are connected. That's the two common ways to do it. Figured I'd mention that. So I have uh, just a triangle for the comparators and uh, the part number up there LM339. There's four of them on here so it's uh, I believe the bottom one is one and then above it two and then back down to bottom three and then four. So it helps to uh, look at the pin layout while you're looking at somebody else's uh, schematic right there. I number them one, two, three, four. So you know that. Now, uh, usually the input of a comparator or an op amp, comparators just compare the voltage. Op amps can actually do a lot of other stuff. They can output uh, more than just a couple voltages. Uh, they can output specific voltages and stuff. Um, but in any case, uh, the inputs are to the left generally and the output to the right with op amps or comparators. So it may look odd that there's a positive voltage here, but uh, what's more important is where the output is so you can keep track of what's going on. Since it is an open collector, all it can do is connect to ground. So uh, typically the uh, more positive would be to the right because when it comes to the output, current's flowing uh, that way. So make sure you got the LED the right way we have the uh, cathode, the short lead of all of these to uh, either the jumper or directly to the output of the uh, particular op amp. Sorry, it went uh, blurry right there. So that short lead cathode, long lead, the anode coming to uh, whichever resistor is uh, connected to it. So it's above wherever the uh, cathode is. And uh, they're all going to the positive supply. Since it's five volts, we're using uh, 220 ohms. But in any case, uh, right now all the jumpers are high, the LEDs are off. Right now it's floating, it's picking up stray signals actually turning on and off uh, rapidly. So it's uh, partially bright, mostly because it's turning on and off. Sometimes it's off so it's not as bright. Now we go to negative supply, we can go to negative uh, with any of them that's low. It will only set uh, the particular one, so I think we actually did three there. That's the only one that's low. The rest can be high. So they can all be high, they can all be low, or any other uh, number high and low. But in any case, this is a new integrated circuit for me and I had to look at the data sheet, see how it worked and everything. I didn't even realize it was open collector at first. It didn't work. I was trying to get actually a high output. And uh, so you got to look at data sheets closely and uh, try a practice circuit like this. If it doesn't work, look at the data sheet, try to figure out why it might not work. Um, but uh, in any case, hopefully this video saved you all that trouble if you're interested in using this integrated circuit. I'll try to come up with more interesting circuits in the future. But uh, thanks for watching.